I'm ahead of the train, Mum. What are my orders? Eliminate Patrice. You must not get away. I'm in position, Mum. Lining up a shot. Do you have a shot? Negative. I do not have a clear shot. They're heading towards another tunnel. Take the bloody shot. Now! The Treasurer is convinced Goldfinger is behind the rising gold prices. I want you on the next flight to his headquarters in Switzerland. I'm on my way. smuggling gold out of the UK. You need to gather the evidence we can use to arrest him and get out. Stay undercover. I think there's more to Goldfinger's operation than we thought. I'm going to investigate. <laughs> On to MI6. Goldfinger's got enough nerve gas to take out half of London. Make sure this has been packaged securely. I want Hold on. To double -check the He's just person. walked into view. Yes, sir. I'm tired of Ling ignoring me. You change the weight of those canisters, my pilots are in danger. The deal is off. Pussy. My darling pussy. Your pilots are well paid. Mr. Ling knows what he's doing. Operation Grand Slam will proceed with or without you. Now let's get back to work. All of you. I want to know everything there is to know about Operation Grand Slam. We'll do. Bond out. Bond, you must avoid detection at all costs. Can I help you? 
I want to know what you are up to with Goldfinger. That's none of your business. It became my business when Goldfinger's assistant turned up in a hotel room dead, painted gold. Jill. What is Goldfinger doing with a shipment of nerve gas? I don't know. I don't know anything about nerve gas. Where does Goldfinger have the plans for Operation Grand Slam? In his office. Take me there, now. Okay. Stay behind me. If anybody asks, I'll do the talking. Miss Galore, Mr. Goldfinger has left for the evening. Who is this? Oh, this is... <laughs> James, I swear I didn't know about the nerve gas. I thought we were just going to knock the soldiers out. I didn't agree to kill anyone. What soldiers? Where? The United States. Kentucky. That's all I knew. Of course. Fort Knox. Who are you calling? A friend. Felix Leiter, at the CIA. Goldfinger, thank God you're here. He forced me to bring him up to your office. Yes, I saw. We meet again, Mr. Bond. I thought you would have taken the hint in Miami. I'm not a man to be trifled with. I'll deal with you later. You'll deal with Bond now. Good day, Mr. Bond. the engine. Drive back to the complex. If you insist. You might want to fasten your seatbelt. I'd hate to lose a passenger. Worry about yourself, not me. As you please. This is gold, Mr. Bond. All of my life I've been in love with its color, its brilliance, its divine heaviness. I think you made your point, Goldfinger. Thank you for the demonstration. I work in any enterprise that will increase the value of my holdings. And I do not intend to let you or MI6 interfere with me. Goldfinger, do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. You're forgetting one thing. If I don't call in, MI6 will send 008 to replace me. They know what I know. You know nothing, Mr. Bond. What about Operation Grand Slam? Two words you may have overheard. Which cannot possibly have any significance to you or anyone in your organization. Can you afford to take the chance?
Welcome to Fort Knox, Mr. Bond. The pilot has turned off the seatbelt sign, and her pilots have dropped nerve gas on all the American troops. Now follow me. To admire your determination, Goldfinger. All this to steal the gold. Don't be silly, Mr. Bond. I thought you had more imagination than that. I'm going to irradiate the gold with a nuclear weapon. Nobody will be able to touch it for a century. And the value of your holdings will skyrocket. Exactly, Mr. Bond. But alas, you won't be alive to see it. Bring him ahead. Handcuff him to the bomb. Freeze! CIA! Get your hands in the air! James, let's move it! Felix, I'm going after the bomb. Your friend, Pussy Galore. She helped us switch out the nerve gas for oxygen. Good. All that's left is a nuclear bomb. Here. You may need this. On three. Go first. Cover me. I've opened the bomb. Any advice? Yes. Don't cut the wrong wire. Well done, James. Let's get out of here. We've got a plane waiting to take you to Washington. <sighs> When the president invites you to lunch, you can't say no. I must be dreaming. Not anymore. Felix wanted to make sure you had a comfortable flight. How long do we have? It's another hour to Washington. But I've got to keep an eye on the autopilot. Unless we were forced to divert. That's a splendid idea, Mr. Bond. Go, set a course for Cuba. Congratulations on the promotion, Goldfinger. 
But I suppose it's a small consolation for failing to blow up Fort Knot. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Mr. Bond. Stand up. It's dangerous to fire a gun in a plane, Goldfinger. Go! I told you to change course! I don't know what to say. Say yes. What about my father? What about Blofeld? It's over. If MI6 wants to let him go, there's nothing I can do about it. Get down! Blofeld. Tracy, get out of here. Three helicopters are in position. We're two kilometers out from Blofeld's headquarters. Up ahead, on your left. I see it. somewhere. So glad you're here. Come touch it, the whole family reunited. Cherish this moment as it will be your last. Not much time. Blofeld is going to blackmail the UN. He's brainwashed five women and program them to release something called the Omega virus in the world's largest cities, unless he gets paid off. Why did he tell you all this? His ego. He was bragging. It's all on a computer in his office on one of the lower levels. You two, get out of here. James, please, be careful. Charges. Get ready to blow this place up. Take anything of value and leave nothing that can be traced back to us. Have they found Bond yet? No, sir. Keep looking. You, come with me. We'll check out the other lab.
Damn you, Bart! to MI6. What's Blofeld's status? Unclear. Presumed dead. Shall I tear up your letter of resignation? No. I haven't given you a wedding present yet. I had an idea about that. Three girls, three boys. Pleased? <laughs> Not bad for a start. But darling... Now we have all the time in the world. Anyway, you have given me a wedding present. The best I could have. A future. James, where's Della? I'm sorry, Felix. She's gone. No. Felix. Felix, I've got to get out of here before the police show up. Tell me, who did this? Sanchez. Franz Sanchez. The Mexican drug lord. He suspects one of my agents is about to infiltrate his cartel. You've got to warn. Who? I need a name. Pam. Bouvier. Here. The data is on a card, hidden in my lighter. Up ahead. Sanchez's operation is hidden in that heritage center. James, I don't know if I can do this. Just focus on the mission. Stick to your cover story and you'll be fine. Are you still picking up the feed? Confirm. Audio and video. Good. I'm switching to broadcast only. decided to double-cross the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, why don't we just settle for Pam? Then, Pam, it is. I believe that's yours. Two million dollars. I'm hoping you'll accept its return as a token of goodwill. A gesture of the friendship I hope to establish. Not every tanker, but enough of them to pay for all this. 
That's pretty ingenious. I want to show you one more room. Then we'll go upstairs to my office and finalize the terms of our friendship. Señor Sanchez, un momento. Es importante. Por supuesto. Will you excuse me for a moment? I'll be right back. Pam. James, were you listening? I think we've got enough to hang him. I still haven't found his terrorist connection. His office is on the second floor. I'll keep him busy. I knew all that from your blog. Tell me something I don't know. Like what? Who's that necklace broadcasting to? Nobody. I was recording you to protect myself. No. Felix Leiter. I'm through with you. I'm going to find your friend, Pam. Fight, you bitch! 
speak! Come on! All this, you did all this for an American? No. All this for my friend. Tanner to Bond. Your contact, NSA agent Giacinta Johnson, checked into the ICE Hotel 45 minutes ago. She's waiting to brief you on the mission in the ICE Bar. You'll need to find her. I'm telling you, it's not on. Ladies and gentlemen, I just love your tears. I am so tired of these guys thinking that a woman can't run a company. Listen, I'm telling you, it's not our fault. The government could have done something to avert. Bond? James Bond? You must be Jacintia Johnson. My friends call me Jinx. Unlucky in life? And lucky in love. What have you learned about Graves and the Icarus? We have to sneak into Graves' office before the demonstration. I'll bring you up to speed on the way. This shouldn't take long to install. That's it. I think we're done. Hey, get a move on. Graves is waiting. Yes, sir. Remote uplink with Icarus has been established. Gustav, the uplink is complete. Okay, come on, let's get to the demonstration. Interesting way to wear diamonds. His name is Zhao, North Korean spy. He murdered two of our agents last year. I'm going after him. No, not yet. First we go to the demonstration, see how he's tied in with Graves. Then you go after him. Imagine a second sun shining like a diamond in the sky. Let there be light! I give you, Icarus. What do you think? Look, over there. So, what do you think? Was your money well spent? Impressive. But are you sure it will work in the field? The demonstration was barely at half power. Now, why don't you return to the party while I go to my office and prepare for our next phase of operations? Bond, we've identified those men with graves. They're all North Korean military. Your orders are to seize that controller. That technology must not fall into their hands. You go after Zhao. I'll follow Graves. Try to stay out of trouble. You too. Is this what you're looking for? Maybe you should tell me. <clears throat> for too long, the Western world has interfered with the Korean Peninsula. With the Icarus, I'm going to scorch your demilitarized zone, and the North will sweep down and unify Korea once and for all. Is that your definition of helping the world? For the North Koreans, it is. The only problem is that your secret is out. I'm not the only one who knows about this. <laughs> you mean your American friend, Jinx? James! 
I fear she is about to be the victim of a tragic industrial accident. Are you still with me, Bond? I'd hate for you to miss the demise of your friend. Next Bond. James, I could do with a little help here. <laughs> Cutting it close, is there? We have to stop Graves. Let's go. My car. Take care of Graves. Can you handle the pilots? No problem. Let's go. Primary target coordinates confirmed. Commence countdown to automatic firing. I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't forget or survive. Kill me, the Icarus will go into failsafe mode. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Working with you, Mr. Bond. Sometimes you just get lucky. Let's not chase it. The CIA confirmed that their agent, Dr. Holly Goodhead, is still missing. At last contact, she was investigating the entrepreneur Hugo Drax at his spaceport facility on the equator. They believe Drax may have stolen some of NASA's technology. I hope you're checking in with the CIA. 
Who are you? What do you want? Bond, from MI6. How do I know this isn't a trick? My only assignment was to find out if you were here. Enjoy your stay. Wait. <sighs> we thought Drax was stealing secrets about rocket propulsion. But it turns out he was after the bio experiments we ran on the space shuttle. I think he's trying to develop some kind of nerve agent, but I don't know why. Maybe we'd better find out. I thought you wanted to leave. Things changed. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. No! No! Take a look at this. Ah. Oh. This can't be. It looks like those pods are designed to disperse the toxin from the upper atmosphere. It would kill millions, poison the soil for decades. How many shuttles does Drax have? Six, that we know of. Let's hope he wasn't on that one. Let's find him, now. off me welcome to Drax space enterprises I suppose I should be flattered that MI6 would send such an experienced agent after dr. Goodhead mr. Bond personally I'd be nervous <laughs> yes spoken like a man who believes violence is the means to all ends and you don't or do you have some peaceful reason for killing off everyone on earth <laughs> You've heard of natural selection, Mr. Bond? Survival of the fittest? I'm sure Dr. Goodhead could explain. In either case, Darwin was wrong. I've decided it's time to clean the slate and start over ridding the world of pestilence like yourself and Dr. Goodhead. You're too late. I've already called in. There are troops on the way. I think you're bluffing. But even if you aren't, I'll be long gone by then. You know, I had considered bringing the two of you along as breeding specimens, but uh, you didn't make the cut. Take them away. Dispose of them. We haven't much time. What? 
Where are we? In one of the blast chambers. We've got to get out of here. Here, this should fit. Thanks. Sure is cold in here. Can I help you with something? Okay. I'm gonna see what else I can find. You! Stop right there! This is a restricted area! I have an intruder in crew room five. <gasps> I assume you still know how to launch one of these. It's like riding a bicycle. You never forget. Six, Here we go. Greetings to all. Welcome aboard your temporary home. Here in the untainted cradle of the heavens, we will create a new super race, a race of perfect physical specimens. We have a laser confirmed lock on the target. Come in, Tanner. Bond? What are you doing on this frequency? I'm with Dr. Goodhead. Tanner, this is Holly Goodhead. I need you to contact Felix Leiter. Tell him to launch Operation Steel Heaven. But Tanner, just do it. Trust me. Automatic docking procedure activated. From their first day on Earth, they will look to the skies and know that there is a law and order to the universe and a God in Heaven. I want those launchers fixed. Now, we're moving up the schedule. Ah, congratulations, Mr. Bond. You've managed to delay my plans, but you haven't stopped them. It seems to me you can't pull this off without us. Is that so? Tell me, what do I need a spy for? Sooner or later, someone in this room is going to envy you, betray you, and need to be eliminated. Who's it going to be? The captain? The co-pilot? Or what about him? Surely he doesn't fit your qualifications for a master race? Stop it. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's lying. Am I? Enemy ships, incoming! Battle stations, now! Everyone, get them out of here. I'll deal with them later. Jaws, you know I'm right. Let us go. James, we can stop him from firing on the Marines if we shut down the artificial gravity.
It's over, Drax. What? You expect me to give up? Return to Earth to be tried by my inferiors? Never. I think not. James, the space station is starting to tear itself apart. Quickly, James, we're running out of time.
escape. I'll have to drop you here and keep my distance. It looks like Sanchez has heavily armed resistance with me. Good luck. to bond. Your contact, NSA agent Giacinta Johnson, checked into the ICE hotel 45 minutes ago. She's waiting to brief you on the mission in the ICE bar. You'll need to find her. Listen, I'm telling you, it's not our fault. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I just love your dress. I am so tired of these guys thinking that a woman can't run a company. Oh, Listen, I'm telling you, it's not our fault. The government could have done something to avert... Bond? James Bond? You must be Jacintia Johnson. My friends call me Jinx. Unlucky in life? Unlucky in love. What have you learned about Graves and the Icarus? We have to sneak into Graves' office before the demonstration. I'll bring you up to speed on the way. This shouldn't take long to install. That's it. I think we're done. Hey, get a move on. Graves is waiting. Yes, sir. Remote uplink with Icarus has been established. Gustav, the uplink is complete. Okay, come on, let's get to the demonstration. Interesting way to wear diamonds. His name is Zhao, North Korean spy. He murdered two of our agents last year. I'm going after him. No, not yet. First we go to the demonstration, see how he's tied in with Graves. Then you go after him. Imagine a second sun shining like a diamond in the sky. Let there be light! I give you Icarus. What do you think? Look, over there. So, what do you think? Was your money well spent? Impressive. But are you sure it will work in the field? The demonstration was barely at half power. Now, why don't you return to the party while I go to my office and prepare for our next phase of operations? Bond, we've identified those men with graves. They're all North Korean military. Your orders are to seize that controller. That technology must not fall into their hands. You go after Zhao. I'll follow graves. Try to stay out of trouble. You too. <laughs>